Ooh, this looks so cool. Whoa. There's all like the little symbols all around. <laughs> I'm just marveling at this. Well, uh, my name's Mitz, and right now I'm playing Tangled Tower. And even though, like, it has, like, no subtitles, this is actually part of the Detective Grimoire series. Like, first started as, like, a first entry in, like, a, as a Flash game by Super Flash Bros. And made a second one for on Steam, as, as this one, and about a swamp. Oh, God, I forgot the, ti the name of that. This is, like, a, a series that's been... Like part of my childhood almost and I was actually so sad that I thought they canceled this and I didn't even know this this even existed a few months ago and I'm just too busy to even like actually just check it out ever since then and I'm so excited to actually get into this and just see how bad my mystery solving skills is even after I played so many of them yeah okay let's just get into this Ooh. I'm assuming this is going to be something similar to um, uh, the Swamp. God, I need to remember that name at some point. Gosh dang, I love the mystery. The beginning. Tangled Tower. Good afternoon. Oh yeah, the only things I know about this is just basically the trailers. And that... Oh yeah, I think that's... Uh, yeah, I think that's Sally. Like Edge. It's a bird bath. Yeah, 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 it's it's a bird bath. Is that just rainwater? It looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. <laughs> They're even singing a little tune. Do, 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 do. Okay, <laughs> what even songs that? Oh, Shashi, have some fun. This is Sally, which I think is supposed to be the new partner, based on what I can see from the trailers. You ready, Sally? Yeah, okay, I got her name right. Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Well, I, I, I need to examine everything. Don't you know me at this point? Just checking. You have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's basically blank. Did you read the case mm. file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Ah, uh, we're just jumping straight into this then, and we just figure as we go. Did you read it? <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, case file. Verd murder victim. Freyna Fellow, 19. Oh, she died as a young. Died while painting a portrait of Flora Fellow, 44. Died at Lo Flora's tower. Flora was present as she was posing for a portrait. Freya Fellow was found lying in her back, a single stab wound in her chest. No weapon was found at the scene, but the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. The red color on the tip of the blade is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. So, there was a witness to the scene, but in, if it's not her, then she must have seen someone enter the room. Or that. Hmm. And it doesn't look like, just from the, the photo, it doesn't look like the blood of the splatter. So, the culprit just took some the blood and just put in the painting while someone else is in the room? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I guess this is the people who are suspects, but we don't have too many, except for the victim herself. Free of fellow. Oh yeah, that's another thing I realized. The art style is like, almost completely different from the last one. It's like, way really cool and stylized. What is this? Just evidence? Tangle Tower. A small painting on a scrap of paper. Oh, it's just like I'm a, a reference for the police. A few notes have been written in the back. Nowadays, it goes by Tangled Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. It's surrounded by a circular lake. The water is an unusual mix of colors. The lake is closed by sheer, pale cliffs. They're too steep and smooth to climb. Tangled Tower is currently home to both the Fellow family and the Pointer family. So, the culprits are someone from either of the families. It's gonna be hard to assume that someone came from the outside. Ooh, this is so really large. I'm gonna assume that the victim died at the very top of one of these towers. I'm gonna assume it's the the right one because it looks more stylized. What is this for? 
Ah, uh, objectives. Okay. So, who do you think did it? Well, we haven't met anyone yet. Sally, you know full well we haven't met a single suspect yet. <laughs> we haven't even been to the crime scene. Still, I reckon I've got it all worked out. Of course you do. So is the first person we're gonna find just gonna be your main suspect then? It's a garden. Uh. I think. It's currently far away. No, oh, you're just a whole baller sarcasm. I love you. Uh, we could walk closer to it. <laughs> First to find that. Ready when you are. Yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> Gardens. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. <laughs> Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, is there something in it? Oh, it's a this puzzle. isn't just a regular statue, is Secrets! It? Something tells me we're not gonna solve this just yet. I guess we gotta find, talk to someone about it, or just find some random note. Come to your table, what's the purpose of it? Let's come back later. I don't think we even have anything it in It must do something. I'm pretty sure it would open, like, a door in that mouth of that statue of animal? You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Harp statue. An old weathered statue of an amphibious creature holding a large harp. Symbols are engraved on each of the harp's four calm segments. Egg. It's a stone carving. Wonder how it got cracked. Well, I mean, obviously a stone monster is going to come out. I think it's supposed to look like that. Oh, sure, sure. It's an egg. Hmm. What is this? It's what animal a, is that? It's like a bird hawk. or a hawk. Bear, lizard. Like a dragon? I don't even. I don't know. On top of my head, like what cryptid that combination would be. Right. Of course, a hawk, bear, lizard. That's a great name. Spooky. What do you think it's for? Uh, secret entrance. I think it's to scare away detectives. Is mm. it working? No. <laughs> it's a bandstand. Bit small for a bandstand. I mean, it's more like a podium almost. It's a one man bandstand. Oh, one. <laughs> well, let's see anything else here. Let's continue on. Main entrance. Uh, well. Oh. What? Oh, there's an O on the floor. Well, then pick it up and put it on the sign oh, then. Oh, yeah. You. Tangle Tour. Yep. Twer. Twer. Where? Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? Well, I mean, how much does this is to get people's attention? Ooh, nice it's melody. a little melody. <laughs> little bird feeders. How do you know they're for birds? Well, what else could it be for? I wonder if this is a statue. To move if we try to go inside. No. No, I think he'll just silently judge us. Yeah, like every single statue in existence. I wonder if it's a statue of one of the, like, the ancestors of one of the families. Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can just walk straight in, right? I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. Well, we already ring the bell, so if they didn't notice, then that's their own fault. Uh, let's not let's go in just yet. Let's head to the crime scene first. It's at the top of the West Tower, I think. Oh, I was wrong. It was in the left tower. No. Oh. This more looks more like a mansion than anything. What am I saying? They literally already said it was a mansion. Gosh dang it. Now it's a big glass tube filled with water. It's like an aquarium or a fish tank. There are weeds in there. And sand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like an aquarium. It's an aquarium? Could be. Except there's nothing living in it anymore. Hmm. I wonder what fish that we kept in there. It's not locked. A door. Oh, what's behind it? A room. <laughs> Let's head to the crime scene first. It's okay. at the top of the West Tower, I Okay. Think. So, Freya Fellow will be on the top of this Stairs. tower. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The top of the tower. We're going to go all the way up the stairs, then. Oh, yeah. I saw this in the trailer, too. Well, you're the first suspect. Uh, yeah, let's talk to you. Let's take a look at that painting first. Okay, then. 
There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. It looks pretty finished. So, but... what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Hmm. Looks that way. Maybe. It looks pretty finished. Oh, the corners are not finished. Hmm. Freya was unable to finish the painting, as she died sometime during the process. Flora appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was covered, discovered to be blood. Was it discovered to be Flora's blood? Or they did not finish that in time? I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Maybe well, it's just mm. because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene. And something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, the first thing. There's something very strange about how Freya was killed. Uh... portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood but it was removed from the scene almost ah Maybe I'm just too close hmm. okay let's see here I'm so glad that this is this is this is still being carried over in the later entries I actually love this mechanic in the last one we're gonna eat it <laughs> because it stabbed Freya the other ones. Holding a knife tipped with blood. Hmm. I wonder what I'm missing. No, none of these were used to kill. It's completely covered in. Not completely. Hmm. I'm probably gonna be. This is probably not gonna be it, but let's see it. Laura Fellow is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Nope. Yeah, okay. That's not right. I figured. Hmm. I swear, this is gonna be a recurring theme with me when I go through these. Thor's portrait's holding a knife tipped with blood. Me- oh. Okay. No, that's- I'm pretty sure that's not it. How can you remove blood from a scene after you can clearly see it was on the floor? Knife tip with blood. Wait, what? Holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. So you're saying that the victim just What? Uh, yeah. uh, you think Freya was stabbed by a painting. Not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting itself. Uh that's mm -hmm. a bit hard to okay. Freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's oh. blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Right. But it's not actually a knife. It can't stab. I, I am questioning your sanity. Oh my case god. Closed. The case is not closed. <laughs> Even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. It's a supernatural one. I mean, those cryptids in the last game are the mention of it anyway. An unfinished painting. Ooh, I'm excited. Yep, oh, achievement. Finished painting. That's no. Literally, a painting cannot be the one that stabbed her. Okay. Like Emma. Uh, maybe if someone stabbed her from behind and then she just decided to. It's it's more weirder to think the victim decided to um uh, put their hand behind their back, and then like just place the, their hand on the knife. If they were even trawling it. Just no, no. I don't even want to think about it anymore. Hello, you're not Laura creepy. Hello. <laughs> hey, sorry to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. 
Maybe not in distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Maybe not. But she must Nothing. have heard something. What do we do? Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. Not for now. Really? Ah, oh, they changed the UI a bit. Oh, that's from, uh, if they find something suspicious about you, just how it was revealed in all the games. Ooh, curious how they'll go more. Flora Bello? Oh, that was the introduction. Can you tell us about yourself? Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? I don't really know anything about you at all. I, I think that's see. the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. I yeah, guess. Okay. I guess we have to like, get her to talk about herself just by reveal talking to other people to reveal it. Pretty sure nothing's Freya was say, painting yes. your portrait yesterday. Is that right? Hmm. I see you recurring. Was this here. something you had planned with her ahead of time? Was there something special about yesterday? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was painting you? She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. But at least we can say we tried. Try and failed. Uh, what's Flora, your statement? you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something? At least tell us something. Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? Just say that you you didn't see anything. Nah, she's acting pretty suspicious if you ask You're me. You're not helping your case. Know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. How is that possible? A silent murder? Hmm. Okay, let's just look around the room more. Uh, let's look at the body outline. The outline of Freya Fellow. Looks like she fell onto her back. Hmm, so she didn't fall onto the painting as there's no... Hmm. Doesn't look... If the the painting was still fresh, there's no... She didn't fall forward and press her hands against it. That or the painting would topple over and there'd be... Unless there were pain in their hands when she was found. There's a single patch of blood right in the middle. So maybe it was she was stabbed in the heart or lung. No real signs of a struggle. Yeah, everything's neat and orderly, except for drop brush, but she was still holding on to the paint. The paint easel. That's no, weird. Not that. Oh, I forget what it's called. What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. Mm. So? So she was probably standing really close to the canvas when she fell. She just fell backwards. Let's check the case file again. Posing for a portrait with someone lying on your back with a single stab on your chest. No one was on the scene of the subject of Frey's unfinished paintings holding a knife. The red color on the tip of the paint is, is not is not paint, it's just the color of blood. No. No, it doesn't say anything about how close she was to the painting. Hmm. Is that an egg? The Fabergé egg. An egg with bird feet. That's more like a stand than anything, but if it's... Is it built into the egg? Wow. It's also covered in gemstones. It's a very fancy looking egg if you ask me. What a completely ordinary object. Oh, shush you. <laughs> oh, I think puzzles. it's a container for something. Uh, Those gems look like they come off. Swap the potion as it's a gem, rotate the egg to see a clue in the back. Oh, we gotta match them up somehow. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, so star. I think I can see a sort of a pattern. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, let's go with this first. This is a straight 90 degree angle. Let's see if there's anything like that. Hmm. The only thing close to that is one of these. Oh wait, no, it's this. Okay, purple and blue. Although it's upside down. Let's try it. Okay, and this will go to that, green and pink. That stays. That and uh, a square. Purple, yellow. Hmm. 
Although it's upside down. Hmm. I guess they're rotating in my mind just to figure that out. Purple, yellow. I think that's right. Okay, next one. Let's go with uh, this one. It looks like it's almost similar to this. So that would be pink and blue. That doesn't change. Pink and blue. That retry it. Okay, and let's get the closer one, yellow and green. Is that the same? Okay, uh... Did we get these, the purple and yellow? I don't think so. That's upside down, that one. Nope. Did you check the clue on the back of the egg? Yes, I did, Sally. I'm pretty sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones. Hmm. Some of them are upside down, and some of them are not. Maybe I just... I have them differently swapped in my head. Okay, so how about this? Uh, purple, that would go to the left. It was turned upside down. Rotated. No, I'm pretty sure that's right. Wait, no. I guess that's wrong. Maybe it is. Deal with those lines between the gems. It must mean something. This is the this is show like how. Like the the lines are actually like completely out of whack. Gets just to make it even more weird. How about this? Where is the other one? Purple and purple. Night no. Purple and pink for that one. Wait, no. I oh yeah, that one. Okay. Purple. Actually it's a way different color. Pink. Oh gosh, did I mix up the different shapes? Gosh dang it. Uh, that's gonna be most of this recording. <laughs> pink and pink. Oh, I think I mixed them up. Oh, I mixed them up. I did. Nothing. Each line connects two slots, forming yeah, the exact same pairs. same pairs are represented in the clue on the back. They're just rearranged and rotated. Hmm. Hopefully I don't have to get them exactly right. Like, swap them between. Rotated. Gosh dang. Okay, uh, red square. Rotated yellow, purple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And that one, that will go to this. Rotate, that'll be that. Yes. And for this, I'm pretty sure it doesn't need to be changed, so that's good. And the green yellow. Nothing. Each mm. line connects. The exact yeah, I think I get it, but I'm just trying to trying to get my way through this quickly. First teaser of this game, brain teaser. Did I get this? Uh, blue to red. Yeah, that's it. Uh, purple to purple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't even need changed. Red to green. Rotate that goes to that, yes. That's the one. Ah, I swapped them too soon. Hey, not bad. Yeah, I did it. Did it unlock? 
What's in there? Uh, maybe the knife. Nothing. Huh. Nothing. Maybe that was the reason why this, that's the motive. Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. And empty egg is a clue, right? Yeah. Once unlocked, the egg can be opened. It's currently empty. The lining of the egg is a soft, velvet-like material. The egg is supported by a stand made of brass. It rests on three strange feet with pointed claws. So maybe that's why they're still inside. If it was here the whole time when the murder was committed, and this is the motive, there's really no way you would have noticed if if it was stolen like t yesterday. Is that a gramophone? I think so. What Except it's got it. a tape deck instead of a turntable. Oh wait, really? It's also got a big crack down the middle. Hmm. Oh, it is a cassette. It plays cassette tapes instead of vinyl records. It's pointing towards the middle of the room. There's noticeable crack running through it, all the way from the horn down through the tape deck. Was this playing at the time, and Flora Fellow didn't notice it? That's a possibility. What about the cassette tape? Yeah, sure it is. Pink. Pink? <laughs> the cassette tape has a crack down the middle. There's a handwritten message on the label. To Freya. Oh, it's a gift. Do you think it still works? The gramophone? Eh, we could give it a go. Hopefully. What's on it? Oh, there's another cassette we have to find. Hmm. It's piano music. It's really nice, though. The cassette tape has a crack down the middle. Not the same thing. It's a recording for piano music. It plays for a short while before stopping. Skip a bit before there. Hmm. I don't think there's anything incriminating in the tape. A bunch of old books, covered in dust now, but they look well read. I'm not saying that's gonna be important. Hmm. There it is, the unfinished portrait of. So what? What's that way? Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I missed. Maybe look at the paint. Freya's painting supplies. Ah. Most of the red is gone. Small glass pots of red, yellow, blue, and black, and white paint. The paint pots are all cracked down one side. There's so many cracks in this room. There's even like a crack in that statue, the egg, which is probably not even related, but still, it's a common motif right now. Cracks in that gramophone. Oh, the door's busted down. That's the only door in and out of the room. It's also on the floor. How did I not notice that? Sure is. Guessing it's not supposed to be down there. So the gramophone was playing, they just busted the door and just stabbed her and just left and just. Okay, so the culprit busted down a door while these two were having a painting session, stabs her when the gramophone was just going full blast. I'm just gonna do it for sake. Just picked up her blood, put on the painting if it was not the victim. And maybe if the egg is involved, they opened the egg, took what was inside, and left. How did you not notice this, Freya? No, not Freya. Oh, oh Flora. Sorry. Wow, oh, their names are so f similar. Is there anything out here? Half the room is a big open window. I don't know if you can call it an open window. Mm, it's more like a... It's more yeah. like... Uh, what is that word? The sudden absence of wall. Eh, that's not the word I was going for. What is a specific term for that? Hmm. What do you have so far? Oh, okay, we can find her. We don't have any information, so we can't say if there's any suspicious or not suspicious. That was a new mechanic also in the last game to figure out, like, what things were suspicious to a character based on the evidence and circumstances, and what was not. Now it's just to help figure out the, the cop in the last one. 
Okay, let's head to other places if we look, found a lot of evidence there. Uh, let's start to the very bottom. Let's work our way up. Stone Square. Are you a fellow or a porter? Let's talk to you. Hi. <laughs> nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. Oh I'm god, sure is this gonna be a Romeo and Juliet thing? Asking. But who are you, and what is your business here? Well, there was a Sorry. murder and yesterday. This is my sidekick, Grimoire. A private detective, Grimoire. Wait, you really? left the police? You're a detective. This is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Wait, what? Wow, really? Nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. <laughs> oh, shut up. Become her sidekick. You're oh, you're a higher on the Freya fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, hmm. this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out <laughs> information to persons unknown. Oh. Oh, you're one of those people. Now, if mm. you would, I have work to do. Okay. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <laughs> well, let us make a small exception. A small exception, Ask. you say? Ask and oh, you shall receive. What are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. I know you're not going to tell your client. How long have you been client. at Tangle Tower? Hmm. 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working You were here for? before the murder. I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you- How'd you get that scar? <laughs> You really think so? Oh, it's a, it's a really cool scar. <laughs> As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was hmm. one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was <laughs> Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window didn't say a word although i'm told this is the expected behavior what did you do after that so i spent the early isolation. evening searching the library it took longer than it should have fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray fiona was in the library too i expected her to make an appearance but she did not and you stayed in the library the rest of the day not quite hmm I'm assuming you're alone in the library then. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from oh. the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. Maybe it was in the other tower. I decided to return to my office in the stone square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. So both of them were the discoverers of the More scene. More so than at any moment prior. I felt like quite an intruder in the house. Hmm. I took my leave, out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But hmm. sorrowful, mournful, I cannot say. Hmm. Well, we we got a whole lot of different people involved in this. We had to cross-reference that with other people's statements. <laughs> You're one interesting character, Hawkshaw. Your, you put your office out here? It's a pretty cool looking place to put an office then. Is that a clock? It's a very weird looking clock. Just one hand. If it is, it's a clock with four faces. Oh, it's on all sides? Ooh. 
Oh, I'm boy. guessing it doesn't tell the time. Hmm. So what does it do? It looks, it's like another puzzle. Oh, it's one of these. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Gonna be a lot of trial and error. I think the most thing I need to rely on is getting these two at the same angle and this one. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be the main focal point of this puzzle. I swear, this is just going to be trial and error. Goes right to that, so. This will be like the final factor. Gotta make sure these all are long, all lined up to make them go up above. But that time, this has to be the same. This will be straight above, and these have to be aligned in the exact same direction. But how do we go about doing that? Ah, uh, it's like a. Well, how did I not notice before? It's like. This goes to those ones, and this will go to that. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, f ah, backwards. Oh my god, I was <laughs> such an idiot. Uh, so I got the puzzle done, and... I did not realize that I'm uh, all the hands to be the exact same position, but I'm uh, almost similar to a clock. Like all of them have to be in like exactly varying different positions. Like all these symbols on the side of a one clock face, they're actually just a number almost repeated like all the way around. Like this right here, over here, this is a three. This is supposed to be a nine, and this is a 12, and this is a six. And somehow, I did not notice that, except for the fact I noticed this was a 12 before, but didn't think anything of it? <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, I feel so stupid and also so accomplished. Nice work. Thank you, Sally. What's in here? What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. A little tool thing? Looks like a telescope. Or is it a kaleidoscope? But I'm not actually sure what it is? There's like a blind spot over it? It looks more like a, a, a like a telescope stand. A small brass tool with a curved glass lens. The screw at the base. Huh. Obviously it has to go somewhere. Well, I think we actually explored like quite a bit of this place and talked to like well, technically, we talked to two suspects, but we only got, like, one of them to talk, so, yeah, nothing. So, hmm, I think this is a good place to end this. We actually got through a lot of interesting stuff, like, in, like went to the crime scene and talked to two of the suspects. I think I'm slowly starting to piece things together. There's a lot of different things we need to go back to or to like, piece together. I really like the art style and the, like, almost a small environmental storytelling going on. I am really curious to see how this will pan out. So, hopefully this has turned out as good as I think it was, just like the other games. Oh, I, I just can't wait. So I think this is going to be it for this episode, so... I hope, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope you see you next time.